Welcome back to my updated um, Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod tutorial. Um, today, or a few days ago, they updated it to 1.7.10, so I decided I would teach you guys how to do that. So, let's get started. Uh, there are going to be three links that you need. First one is for Forge, the second one is for the mod core, and the third one is just for all of the different sets of how beautiful it will look. So first off, let's start with uh, Forge. You're going to need the 1.7.10, the latest version. All you got to do is go over to Installer and click Install. Stay on this page, blah blah blah. Cookies not enabled, I don't care. Wait for this to go, maybe I have to do that. Or refresh. Yeah, there we go. So if that pops up, just refresh it. Just refresh the page. Don't click on this ever. Uh, skip add. Blah, blah, blah. Keep. And it'll... I already have this installed, so we're not going to worry about that. The next one is the Shaders Mod Core. Um, this, all you need to do is, it's right at the top for Minecraft 1.7.10. All you got to do, click link 1. That's all you gotta do. And then, down here at the bottom, download shaders mod. Okay? And then download that. Keep. There it is. Okay? And the third and final link is all you gotta do is go down to the bottom. Well, right around right the bottom. Uh, version 10.1. You're gonna want these because these are the the best ones. Uh, and by the time you see it, the light will probably be out. Um, so, yeah. If your computer can't handle it, whatever. My computer can't handle Ultra. So, I install I installed all of them, gave them a test. My computer can't handle it either way. So, I'd say for most users, it would probably be standard or light when it comes out. Um, but at this point, you can download all of them and give them a, give them a try. That's what I... That's what I would recommend. I don't recommend using the Preview 2 yet, because it's a little buggy. But, so, all you gotta do is just click on these. Yada, yada, yada. Goes to an ad fly. Wait three, wait your five seconds. Skip ad, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna download one so that you can get a feel of how, how it works. Okay, so, now we are done with this. Except, we're not done with this. Keep this bottom bar open, do not close it. If you're if you're using Google Chrome, do not close it. So, first what we're going to want to do is go to Minecraft, okay? If you've never run um, Minecraft 1.7.10, you have to run that first. So, just make a profile, name it whatever, and then make sure it's ready to play 1.7.10. And then, play that. Now, I had already downloaded it because I have the shaders installed, but as you see, it just comes up, blah, 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 close that out, and now click on your forge. Now, it, it will say you need to run 1.7.10 at least once before installing this. That's why we installed the 1.7.10 version first. And so, just let that download. I already have it downloaded, yada, yada, yada. Okay, now what you want to now what you're gonna want to do again is go ahead and run Minecraft in the Forge file. There is a Forge file, see? So it'll probably come to this. Just play again. Make sure it says Forge, and then over on the right it'll say "Ready to play Minecraft 1.7.10 Forge." Blah 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 numbers. Play that. Should it'll take a little longer to load because of having to load mods and all that and um, yeah it's a beta so do not do not comment on my video saying oh it didn't work because if it doesn't work I have no idea apologies so then go to options and you can see oh shoot no I wasn't supposed to show you this yet no 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 no, no. discard that okay so now that you had loaded it <laughs> Um, go down to your start menu and type in percent app data percent sign 
and it'll come up with roaming what you're gonna want to do is go to the top it'll say dot minecraft go to your mods folder I would already installed it but what you're gonna want to do is drag your shaders mod core drag that into there I already have it in there so it's all done for me now what you're gonna want to do again is exit that out and open up minecraft and run the forge file one more time and it will come up in it will come up with loading loading it's a little slow of loading but that's just because of the mods okay so what it'll come up with is the shaders button okay you can open the shaders folder and that's where you're gonna put that's what you're gonna do you're gonna take your downloaded Zeus 110 whatever file and plug it in there see I already have it in there so I don't need to plug it in so close that once you're done start one up done done single player let's create a new world shaders create new world I also want to advertise my um, my twitch stream so if anybody wants to come out and check it out the link will be in the description oh look at how beautiful that looks that's awesome it's a little laggy because I don't have the greatest of uh, video cards but if you have a way better video card mine's a 550 you'll probably get somewhere up in the 50 to 60 FPS range because this is really really good with FPS F <laughs> FPS okay so there it is Sonic Ethers unbelievable shaders for 1.7.10 uh, click on the annotation on the screen if you want to go to my live stream I live stream whenever I can usually I'm busy but I do it whenever I can so go there follow it and we'll see you next time take care Don't hold back tonight.